The decision to buy or rent a car is pretty easy. If you're going to use it daily, it's way cheaper to buy. But when it comes to houses, the question's more complicated. Renting means less upfront money, less maintenance, and more flexibility. You can leave when you want. But buying means owning something. One day you're going to own it outright, no payments. In the meantime, you might be able to deduct the interest and property taxes, and it's yours. Fix it up the way you want it. The single most important deciding factor has to be time. If you're not going to stay in a place for at least five years, then you don't really want to be buying because the commissions and other transaction costs involved in real estate could make it a money loser. And what about your free time? Owners spend a lot more of it on their homes than renters do. Next factor, money. Compare monthly rents with monthly payments. When it comes to owning, don't forget taxes, insurance, and maintenance. Owning's almost always going to cost more. Will you get enough appreciation to offset that additional cost? There are calculators that might help, but they require you to input things you can't know, like how much appreciation you'll get or how much rents will go up. Final factor, the subjective. Pride of ownership, independence, the ability to call your own shots. That's more important to some people than others. Bottom line, nothing wrong with a little mobility. Nothing wrong with a little stability. There's really no right answer when it comes to this question, but if you want to try to get closer to your right answer, I can help. Just go to moneytalksnews.com and do a search for rent or buy. For Money Talks News, I'm Stacy Johnson. Got real estate questions? Get the free Money Talks newsletter. It only takes seven seconds to sign up, and it's full of deals and news you'll really use. Do it now at moneytalksnews.com.